everyone. Welcome into the App Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm sorry, the Flippin' Hippo. Today, we're going to talk about Shipping Plush, uh, Shipping Plush 101. So we're just going to jump right on in. I got some things here I want to show you guys while I talk about it. The first thing you need to know about Shipping Plush is if it's under a pound, you don't need to worry about dimensions. Now, technically, within the USPS postal system, once items are a certain size, like astronomically big, even first class has to worry about dimensions. But with plush, by the time they're that large, they're going to weigh over a pound anyway. So if you have a plush that weighs 16 ounces or less, it's going to ship first class. You don't need to worry about dimensions. You can use poly bags to ship them. The most common poly bag is the 9 by 12, which is the one you see that most used clothing resellers use as well. 9 by 12 is the most commonly used poly size for most resellers. Um, and most of your plush are going to fit in here. Your small and mid-sized plush. Anyway, at that rate. If they're a little bit bigger, we have these that we like. Um, they're the 17 by 12 size. So they're going to still be 12 across the bottom, but they're 17 high. And your taller plush will fit right in here very nicely. And don't forget that plush are just that. They're plush. They're stuffed animals. You can fold them. You can bend them. You can squeeze them. And you can squish them. So if you have to bend it in half or put its legs over its head to make it fit in a poly bag, that's perfectly acceptable. It will absolutely not lose its shape. It will puff right back out. It will be fine for your buyer once it arrives. So again, most common 9 by 12. I always suggest people have these on hand. And then these are the 17 by 12s for your midsize. They do make larger poly bags, like really big ones. If you have um, big plush that weighs under a pound and you need larger sized bags, there's a link in our description box down below to the Boxery, to their store. And they are actually where we buy most of our supplies and boxes and bags from. They have really, really good deals. They have very affordable prices and you can get like bulk, you know, buy in bulk, buy lots of bags at once for really good prices. So if you use that link, it'll take you to their store and you can kind of peruse through their poly bags and see what sizes they have and what you might need if you have bigger plush. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so we do get a little bit of a kickback, some pennies on our commission if you use it. Okay, so let's now talk about your plush that weighs more than a pound because this is where it gets a little complicated. If it weighs more than a pound and the dimensions are less than 12 by 12 by 12, you don't have to worry about the dimensions. You're just going to pay calculated by weight. The way I do this, I have these boxes here. These are large mailing boxes, and that is very literal. <laughs> you see it right there. Large mailing box. You order these for free at usps.com where you order all of your other priority supplies that you can get for free they don't cost anything and again they are the large mailing box this is 12 by 12 by 8 so the cutoff for priority when you have to start paying for dimensions and the shipping starts to get astronomical again is 12 by 12 by 12. So it's a little bit bigger than this, but I just generally go off of this box. If it weighs over a pound and I can get it in this box, I'm golden. I'm only worried about paying by weight. And again, you can fold and squeeze and shove and sit on and whatever you need to do to get them in there um, and then just pay by weight. On our priority plush, we do charge calculated shipping, but on our First class plush, we have free shipping on the listings. It's not really free, built into the price. So for instance, if a plush comps at around 12 bucks, five shipping, I'm gonna put mine up for 17 free ship. But when it comes to the ones that are priority, that can sometimes come back to bite you. If you average eight to $10, for a plush that weighs one to two pounds and someone in Puerto Rico or Hawaii or Alaska buys it and has to go very far, you could end up paying out of pocket um, more than what the 
buyer paid you or what you built into the price. And that goes for the flat rate too. A lot of folks like to do flat rate, like charge eight or 10 bucks. But if you don't have enough built in for the very far away places, you're gonna end up paying more. But if you build enough in for Hawaii, Puerto Rico, the shipping is gonna be astronomical for folks that are closer to you. So that's why I like the calculated. It shows everybody wherever they are, no matter where they are in the United States, how much it's going to cost for us to ship to them. And they can make the decision if they want to pay it or not. And of course, we ship a lot of stuff closer to us because I'm sure it's cheaper. So if it fits in this box, guys, you're going to pay by weight. Now, if it's so big that it doesn't fit in this box and it weighs over a pound, now you're going to have to worry about the dimensions and now shipping is going to get astronomical. But don't be scared about plush that are that big. Here's the thing. Plush that are that ginormous are typically plush that are worth a lot of money. There's a uh, Douglas Cuddle toys out there of Simba that are really, really big. They go for like three or 400 bucks. Another 50 in shipping, your buyer's not going to bat an eye because they're already willing to pay that much for a plush. There are realistic animals out there of all different kinds of brands, monkeys, lions, tigers, oh my. Um, they are worth two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500. When you get into these really big plush that are worth a lot of money, the shipping is going to be okay. You can actually put calculated shipping on your listing with the six pound weight or whatever it is and, you know, the 16 by 18 by nine, whatever your dimensions are. And if it comes out to $50 shipping on a $300 plush, it's okay. Folks who are willing to pay that kind of money for those kinds of plush aren't going to bat an eye at the shipping. So what you want to do is find something that the animal is going to fit into. And that could be a large poly bag. Robert uses garbage bags and he sits on them to get the air out and gets them in there real nice. And then make sure it's all, you know, closed up around the plush. And you got to do this before you list it. Because if you don't do this before you list it, then you can't put the dimensions and the weight in the listing to do the calculated shipping for your buyer. And then you're going to end up paying out of pocket. And let me tell you, these prices can get very astronomical. So before you list the animal, and these are only ones that are bigger than this box that won't fit in here and weigh over a pound. Get them into whatever you're going to send them in. Get the air out. Get it all wrapped up around them as tightly as you can. Weigh it, and then you got to get the three measurements. you got to get the length, the height, and the width. And then you can put that into your listing and have it calculate for the buyer. Those um, types of plush are going to be expensive again, and they're going to be more rare. And if you're really hesitant to list anything that's going to cost that much to ship or that much um, be that much trouble to package up and get the dimensions and everything. Um, one, you can not source animals that big. Or two, you can sell them locally. For the most part, though, if you're doing a lot of your bread and butter and your mid-grade plush, you're going to be using poly bags because most of them don't weigh over a pound. And then your larger plush that weigh a pound, most of them, again, are going to fit in here. It's very rare that I have bigger animals because uh, I only will source ones that big that I know are going to be big money. Um, before I let you go, I guess I should also add your first class plush that is electronic, talking, singing, dancing, any of that, I would actually recommend shipping in a box rather than a poly bag just to protect the plush. You don't want it to break and arrive and not work. You don't want an item that is described or doesn't work opened on you. So if it is an electronic plush, I would put it in a box versus a poly bag. And then my other kind of rule of thumb is if it's a really expensive plush and it has a nice hang tag, I'll put it in a box. We have some boxes that are really small and then midi, midi medium sized ones and then a little bit larger um, that are just brown for first class. And it's like if you get a video game plush, like a Five Nights at Freddy's, and it has a nice hang tag, and it sells for $60. Well, you don't want to throw that in one of these and have the hang tag get bent up and creased up and messed up because they just paid $60 for that. So you might want to put those ones in a box. 
Um, again, you can check out the box here. They have all different sizes of boxes. You can have just a couple on hand, or you can use your free coupon code that you get from eBay each quarter and order some of their little boxes and just have them on hand because sometimes even the smallest little plush will sell for a lot of money. And if they are very expensive and they have that hang tag, I want to make sure it arrives not creased, not damaged, unless it already was and I disclosed it in the listing, of course. But chances are folks who are buying those expensive plush from movies or video games are collectors and they can be a little bit more picky about their items and you just don't want them to have any reason to be unhappy with their purchase. All right, if you have any more questions about shipping plush guys, leave it in the comments down below um, or hit me up in the Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Link to join that's down below as well. And um, hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. Help us feed a hungry hippo. And go be productive. Go make some money. Until next time, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.